Deep Three here, back at it again with another Deep Three reviews. If you didn't catch our last video, we opened a ultra premium collection box that'll be in the description below or on my channel. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, what are you doing? Go do that. And you're gonna see some great card opening content as well as other review products. So today we're gonna be doing, actually, we've done Elite Trainer boxes before, but we have not done the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer box, which is very different from the original one that you can find retail in stores because these are only sold on the Pokemon Center website and they sold out fairly quickly. Uh, it took about three hours of me spamming this in checkout to be able to even buy it. So yeah, it was a real struggle to get this product and I know a lot of people that wanted it but couldn't get it. So I'm going to be opening one here today. Uh, the other one I'm going to keep sealed most likely because, you know, personal collection stuff. Uh, also, future video coming up. V Memories Celebrations box in the background there. Dark Sylveon and Lance's Charizard. We're going to be checking out that box in a future video. So definitely you're going to want to see that. So let's get into this box. So what is different from this box from other Elite Trainer box? Well, first of all, this box is larger, just straight up larger. It does not open from the top, but actually it opens up flat. So it's going to be another type of storage box like the other Elite Trainer boxes, of course, but uh, just a little bit slightly different and the contents are a little bit more premium, a little bit more spicy. So plastic comes off. I'm going to slide this out the side here and there's the paper. Not going to be keeping it on the inside. Some people like to hang this artwork, not me. Nothing interesting for this one. It's just starters, black strip, train on. Nothing special there. On the inside of this box, we can lift it up. On the original, uh, the retail Elite Trainer boxes, it would be vertical. This is actually horizontal flat, and it's quite a lot thicker. So this is what the lid is looking like. Nothing crazy, honestly. And then we have a player's guide, different from the ultra premium player's guide. But uh, information is generally the same, just uh, less details. Uh, quite, missing quite a bit of the celebrations card list. So we're going to be looking for a lot of those here today. Continuing our quest for a full master set. Card rules, Pokemon trading card game. Highly recommend if you would actually want to learn to play the game, play it online. Uh, lift up this black top, nothing there. And this is what it's going to look like on the inside. Now... In the regular retail box, we're gonna get black sleeves. These actually are white. You're gonna get white sleeves here. I like these a lot better than the uh, all black ones. And uh, very nice to have, of course. We're gonna have tabs here. Metal, wow, these are very heavy dice. Metal dice, very heavy. Metal coin, the same as the uh, UPC. So just uh, note that there. Plastic counters, uh, we have the packs you see there on the top right, and then on the bottom, we're gonna have the energies, a stack of energies here, and a deck box. Very nice, actually. It's first time they included a deck box, but I think that is the main difference in the retail and the Pokemon Center exclusive, uh, the deck box, as well as the metal counters, dice, and damage counters. And you're gonna get a lot more packs than this, too. Of course. Now. In uh, celebrations, you're gonna give us all of these regular packs here. We're gonna probably ignore these today. Darkness of Blaze, Vivid, Vivid, Battle Styles, two Chilling Rains. Now, I'm not sure if these are static across every single box and all the same, or if they're different. Uh, if not, just let me know in the comments. I, had, I don't know that for, uh, for a fact. The promo, we're gonna get a Golden Greninja here exactly the same as the ETBs, so you're not missing out. You're still getting the promo. Don't worry about it. No swirl on this one, unfortunately, but still cool to have as always. And inside the center, Pokemon Center exclusive one, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen 10, 11, 12, 13 celebrations packs, only four less than the ultra premium. And then also this code here, which I'm gonna keep for myself actually. So 13 packs here, a lot to go through. Uh, we hit Charizard 
in our last pack opening. Let's see if we can do it again. Uh, still looking for Umbreon, still looking for Magikarp, as well as quite a few other ones. So uh, After this and opening up this V Memories box, we're probably going to be done hunting through celebrations for a bit. So give Wish Me Luck. Hit the like button, of course. Thank you for all the support, as always. And let's get into these packs. Cosmo and Reshiram and Cleffa. Nice. First ever baby Pokemon, I believe. And nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Behind that, so Galio. And uh, we're going to see a lot of duplicates here today. So I'm going to go through these packs reasonably quickly, as long as these packs open nicely for me. Dialga, right at the top here. Cosmog. Cosmon. Surfing Pikachu. We've seen a lot of those before. And we're going to keep on going. Gotta say, opening this product has been the most fun thus far. And they are reprinting second and third waves. So if you haven't gotten to open any celebrations yet... Keep on looking at retail. They are being restocked all the time. Prices have been dropping like crazy. And Pikachu. So, so you're going to get your chance to open them. Hype's probably going to die on them quite a bit. Scalpers are not making as big a profit on the uh, smaller products and boxes as uh, they wanted to before. Especially since the card market's dying on these cards specifically. There's so many of them available. And you see how many hollows there are per pack they aren't the most expensive but we hit a dark gyarados right here this is one of the, my personal chase cards extremely happy to hit this one here it's a japanese art style actually this is sick what do you think about getting this tattooed on you uh personally i think it's a pretty sick design i i would actually consider it and uh hey let me know in the comments maybe if we hit like how many likes one one billion likes I get it tattered on me. <laughs> uh, tell you what, maybe 10,000. If we can hit 10,000 likes, I will get that dark Gyarados tattooed on me. That would be crazy. We don't even have that many subscribers. So, we'll just keep on going. Cosmo and, and a Mew Hollow. Watch you guys start a riot and try to get 10,000 likes just out of sheer force. And power of the community just to see it tattooed on me. In the end, I wouldn't mind. I just don't have the money to tattoo it on me, so. Joke's on you guys. Ho-oh. Xerneas. Garchomp C. Level X. This is box is monstrous so far. We have a lot of new hits that we have not gotten yet. Cynthia's Garchomp Level X. Remember this mechanic. Very fond of it. And, uh, oof. And Zamazenta on top of that. Feels like a card that I need to sleeve, honestly. We're going to do that at the end, though. Halfway through these packs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Third or fourth time opening these cards. Still having a lot of fun ripping them, honestly. Groudon. I've seen him a lot. Xerneas, number how many? Oh. Oh! <laughs> Surprise, it's a Pikachu. Blanks, Pikachu, we hit a second birthday Pikachu, finally. And I am glad. This is one card I don't mind having 10 copies of, honestly. And a regular fat Pikachu there. I will be glad. Here's a code card for you guys. I don't, You guys can take that one. I don't really uh, mind getting as many Pikachus as possible, honestly. But so far, we can't really complain about this box. It's just been full of hits and cards we don't have yet. Um, Umbreon or Charizard would just be icing on the cake now. I'm pretty comfortably happy with what we've gotten so far. But let's keep going. Groudon, Cosmog, Palkia, okay. Flying Pikachu VMAX. We finally get one. And I like this design because it's a ridiculous amount of up balloons tied around the Pikachu as well as a uh, airplane trying to avoid catastrophe there. Yes, you sure did pick a good box. Because mm. I can't pick between a coin flip. Now I've got to be left wondering what's inside this sealed box also. That's the worst 
feeling about being a collector and having a uh, extra sealed collection. You just wonder what's inside that box all the time when you have it on a shelf, guys, right? <laughs> I know that's how I feel all the time. Flying Pikachu V. Okay. No, no. You guys let me know how you guys feel about it. I mean, I did have a sealed box of Champions Path for months, six or seven months. And then when I sold it, the person that opened it found a uh, Charizard in it. And I was like, oh my god. The what ifs. If only I uh, opened it. But super happy that he got something out of it at least. You know, it is what it is. Rockets admin. Hey, yo. And a Lunala. More, more new hits. Sweet, sweet, sweet. You know, at this point, I just want to... I mean, we're, we're hitting a lot of... Uh, set cards here. So it really cannot complain. And, yeah. Definitely happy with it so far. Maybe we can find a starter. Maybe an Umbreon Lugia. Groudon into Eveltal. And... Solgaleo. No Pikachus there at the end. Last two packs. Oh, man. The fun is done for this box almost. Uh, thank you for joining me again as usual. Um, again, V Memories box is going to be ripped up next. See what that product is all about. Let you guys know if it's worth it. Uh, this box I bought retail for 50 Resale, I believe it's around 120 130 So uh, is it worth ripping after you buy it resale? No. Okay, if you're buying it, oh, Team Magma's Groudon. We do not have this one either. And his eyes are litty. That's sick. That is a nice hit. I am hitting so many different cards here. Oh. Zacian V. Sure. Why not? We're just hitting so many different new cards here today. So, final pack of it so far. And I would say, if you're buying this Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box resale, do not open it at 130 It's not worth it. I bought it at retail online, so... Uh, it doesn't hurt as much, but I highly recommend you not open it. Just get the regular retail version. The product's generally the same unless you really want the deck box. And I, honestly, you could probably find the deck box on eBay separately. Someone else that's ripped it open. So, there's Kyogre, Last Pack, Magic, nothing there. Cosmog, maybe, into Flying V, Pikachu V Max, number two. Super happy to hit that anytime. Overall... Clefa Baby, Team Magma's Groudon, uh, Blank's Pikachu, Garchomp, C, Rockets, Admin, and a Dark Gyarados right over here. I want to say this box was a fat dub, honestly. Overall, these are a lot of new hits that I don't have yet. And it's a fun product to rip, period. So definitely, if you can find uh, this box for maybe under 100, I would rip it. But other than that, you, you better keep this one sealed. Go for the retail. And, uh, yeah, like I said, 1,000 likes, I'll get the Star Gyarados tattooed on me, <laughs> if I have the money. So, catch you guys on the next video. Uh, I said 10,000, right? Not 1,000. Yeah. Peace.